What's going on guys? JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 9 in my ninth annual 31 Days of Horror. This is a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days, all during the month of October, leading right up to Halloween, of course. And continuing along with the series, uh, today's review is a sequel to the film we reviewed yesterday, which was Pet Cemetery. So you guessed it, today's review is Pet Cemetery 2 from the year 1992. I have it on the Scream Factory edition here. Realized I had never opened this or, or watched it, so I figured now's a good time as any. I mean, this film does take place partially on Halloween, which is pretty cool. So, Pet Cemetery 2, 1992. It picks up after the first film, some time later. Uh, there is continuity, although the film in tone is very different. Uh, it follows a young kid named Jeff, played by Edward Furlong, um, which, funny on the back here, it says Edward Furlong from Terminator Dark Fate. I mean, come on. Come on. You're going to credit him for a Terminator movie. Pick T2. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and um, uh, his mother and father split up. His mother is an actress. Uh, there's a problem on set. Uh, she basically is shocked to death in a dramatic um, death in front of the kid, which is pretty messed up. They move to uh, the town in Maine, uh, the town with the famous pet cemetery. Uh, there he is dealing with the fact that his mom died, uh, now living with his dad. Um, there's like a new housekeeper who his dad kind of is infatuated with. He doesn't like her at all. She's like kind of a little younger girl. Uh, he's kind of bullied and picked on. His dad's a veterinarian. He's kind of bullied and picked on by these kids in school, but he befriends this other kid named Drew. Uh, Drew's dad is uh, play uh, is um, Gus, and he is the town sheriff. He is also um, the stepfather. So right away, you have tons of 90s parental kid angst. There is, it's, you know, the I hate my step-parents, my parents are divorced type thing that you, you get a lot, a lot in the 90s, which is, is hilarious. Um, so one day, uh, Drew's stepdad is borderline abusive in a way, uh, not necessarily right away, you know, with like physically, but you know, pretty emotionally abusive and stuff like that. He's a very strict and tough guy. Um, and yeah, so, uh, he actually kills Drew's dog and Drew knows of the place beyond the pet cemetery where the Indians buried their, uh, people and the ground turns sour and anything you bury there comes back to life. Uh, so he buries his dog up there and it comes back as sort of like a hellhound. And yeah, I'll kind of leave it off there. Uh, this movie on the surface sounds pretty serious but there's definitely a lot of tonal differences in this movie uh, it's not played as straight serious uh, it's played more in a fun way there's still some kind of messed up stuff in this movie but it, it all the themes of death and loss are not as grounded in this one as they were the first one but that doesn't necessarily make it bad because I still think this movie is really fun I actually like this movie a lot, but for different reasons. It's it's not the serious gut punch of the previous film, but this one has a ton of fun. There's it's it, it actually feels very 90s in a way. Uh, Gus is a weirdo. Um, he's kind of hilarious uh, in a way. When, you know, when, especially what happens to him later on in the film. Uh, but he's kind of a douchebag as well, and. There's a bully kid at school. I don't remember his name, but he's a complete douchebag too. And he bullies uh, Eddie Furlong. And, uh, you know, he, he's kind of like that, you know, quintessential douchebag bully in the 90s. I'm surprised he didn't have a dang switchblade, honestly. Uh, he has like a one earring with like a dangly cross in his ear. And I, I like the character a lot. I actually like the actor too. I, I know I've seen him in something else, but can't remember very good uh, I really enjoy that stuff uh, some decent gore in it some weird there's like a weird dream sequence in it where the father's like having sex with the dead mom and 
she has a dog head and stuff very weird stuff um but yeah it's uh it's kind of uh it's so much different but i i really do like it it's it's a lot of fun and i think that uh i think it's worth checking out there's tons of nods to the original direct continuity uh they mentioned the creed murders and uh the veterinarian mentions you know them bringing the church cat in there and it pretty much seeming as if it was dead it had dead blood stuff like that but yeah uh, i'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven and a half out of ten i think it's a super fun movie i like that it's partially set on halloween it's actually shot pretty well too and there's a good soundtrack uh very 90s but i really dig it uh so that's today's review i will see you guys tomorrow with another one peace